Patrick. I'm Mae Marie Hart, and today we have a special edition of Hot Seat. Hot Seat. <laughs> You definitely said Yahtzee. This Yahtzee. one's gonna be in. What was that move? This yeah. one's. Yeah, I know that move. I did it on the yacht, you see? Okay, if you guys don't know what the hot seat is, I asked you guys for questions on Twitter, and basically it's just a Q&A, except we do it in a hot tub, so I can rationalize writing off the hot tub cleaning service on my taxes. Dare I say, it's the cute N.A. Because we're in Irish swimming. Irish swimming. Okay, are you guys ready for some intense questions, kind of? Mediocrely, yes. Carson says, if you were a hat, which celebrity's head would you sit on? My immediate was Vin Diesel, but then I was like, I don't really no, want to I'm see what like, this what will I like gain from observing I don't want to know his head. what no. kind of porn Vin Diesel watches. No, 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 no. I want to be where the people are. Hmm. Who do I want to sit on? Who do I want to sit on? Is that what you just said? <laughs> probably sit on like Larry David's head because he's bald so I keep him warm but also like I just like to see how big of a grouch she is in real life. life. Michelle Obama. Oh. I think she's like living her best life right now but also like I want to see what Obama's like off the clock. Camilla Cabello. That's not how Whoa. you say it. I got shit on because of it. Camilla Cabello. Okay. Alright let me do it again. Ready? No. We're keeping the first one. <laughs> Tori says, where did you lose your virginity? Was there a song playing in the background? I lost my virginity in college when I was 18, and it was because my boyfriend at the time took me to a macaroni grill. You're so, like, focaccia bread? I'm a focaccia head head. I mean, not in so many words. <laughs> he was not a conversationalist, and it felt like we were having the best conversation ever because we could draw and distract each other from oh, the time during the sex. I know, me too. I was, like, like, I was like, you guys brought out pads and yeah. pencils? Yeah. Do you guys know the song Splackavelli? No. no. I think it might have been a regional hip hop song. That was playing, um, you know. <laughs> no, we don't. Go on. Here's a clip. Say my name's Black yeah. What about you, Hannah? I guess I lost my sex with a man virginity in Japan in a love motel, and there was no music playing in the background. Miri says, is there a sitcom you'd want to be a part of, whether it's on the air or not? What would be? Friends? What would it be? Yeah, uh, friends. It's just so good. I don't. I, but I worry about that I would fuck it up. It's so good, you know. Third Rock from the Sun. Oh, that's love really that. That was a great show. Really you know, really I looked funny. exactly like Joseph Gordon-Levitt on that show when I was in seventh and eighth grade. To the point my brother called me Third Rock for two years. No. What's the show What's you I do? Oh man, I think I do Cheers because I feel like I could get away with drinking real booze while we film. Oh, I think that you really enjoy 100%. everybody knowing your name, but would they pronounce it correctly? That's a good call. Yeah. Greg Mamrie, we're glad you're here. Where is Everybody tries to say your name. Would you rather never have sex again or only have sex on your YouTube channel? Like you have to post you having sex? Or you never have sex again? Never have sex again. Never you don't think again. that after a few times of posting it, people would get bored and be like, whatever? What if you have sex on your YouTube channel and then you get your YouTube channel destroyed? I but you call the YouTube only. Say, Mr. YouTube, can you make sure that no one sees my videos Do on my channel? Do you have his number? I'd have sex on my channel. I'd make it so gross and so like not hot the but first few times that people would unsubscribe. Wait a minute, you can just open up your laptop, lay it flat, have sex on top of your laptop, open to your channel. There you go, sex you on your channel. Sex on Guys, top of your we're channel. basically the boxcar kids. What emoji would you use to describe your 2018 so far? Mine's a little like explosion firework. Oh yay, I like that. I think mine is like kind of that face that's like happy excited, but still like waiting. If you could put a WWE star into a Real Housewives franchise and a Real Housewives star into a WWE match, who would you choose? Okay, I got this. I would put Erica Jane into WWE. Yes! She'd be amazing. Erica Jane! You know it. I like Erica Jane. I know that. How, How many WWE? bucks does she give? Are you like, zero, 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 no, 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 no. no. And then if I had to put a WWE star into Real Housewives, yeah, I would Sasha Banks. I'd like to see Vicky Gunvalson wrestle. Oh my god. Kelsey asked, any book recommendations? Only one. Only one. I've got this round by Mamrie Hart. Further tales of debauchery and shenanigans. Shindanigans? I always tell like debauchery, but I like shindanigans. Shindanigans. Uh, Buy my book. It's out today. <gasps> also, <gasps> happy book day, Mamrie! Yay! Yeah! Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back as a hot seat guy. Yeah, of course, dude. This was a selfish thing for us to just be in your hot tub. I mean, I love your hot tubs. Also, you know, you're going to be in the hot seat when you're touring live all across America. Mamriebook.com.
All right, now let's cut the camera so I can give you the cash you requested for plugging it so well. Anyway, <laughs> that was not elegant. I literally got a butt hole to my knee. Go yeah. right, um, I like any rationale for any video title ever that's not clickbait. Closed awkward finger bed. <laughs> it's a I Christmas miracle. I divorced <laughs> over my birthday with my secret twin. 